Soul Asylum is carrying on the punk and alternative rock ethos that helped establish the music format and rock subgenre over 20 years ago. Vocalist Dave Perner and crew have released No Fun Intended, an EP of their favorite covers, with an album expected by the end of 2013, beginning of 2014. The collection features Joy Division, MC5 and Suicide Commandos, and we asked him how the idea came about. It was kind of done in the spirit of covers are supposed to be off the cuff and they're supposed to be spontaneous and so this first record has a song by a band called the Suicide Commandos, which is a Minneapolis band who were the Ramones to me and also the band that uh, the guitar player taught me my first Ramones song and uh, that it also made me understand that music was being made in my city and it didn't just come out of the radio, this mysterious place. And then uh, you got the MC5, which you have to come through the back door sort of to get to, you know, the Stooges and the MC5 to the Ramones and all that stuff. And, you know, MC5, that's not, you know, totally one of my favorite bands. I don't know what is. And what's the other one? Joy Division, which people react to very oddly. They, they, well, they love that song just like I do, but they're also like, well, we didn't really expect you to be playing goth music. And I'm just like, what, a, you, what you got to put on Guy Liner to play this kind of music? It just, I'm like, it's a great song. A great song is a great song. And to me, I don't care how you dress it up. It's still a great song, you know. While they are moving forward with the new releases, they just came off a tour last year of playing Grave Dancers Union, their breakout 1992 hit album in its entirety. We asked Dave what that was like. Initially, I didn't want to do it, but the rest of the band really wanted to do it, so they sort of outvoted me. And uh, that was a situation where I was going along with what the fellas wanted to do, and it ended up being really really interesting to to perform the record from beginning to end because I had sort of lost lost track of like how long and how arduous a process of making that record was so just playing it from beginning to end almost makes it kind of go oh all right finally you know we, we can play it one of the big songs from that album was black gold and Perner said it's disconcerting to see that nothing's changed in 20 years it was during the first Bush administration, and I believe it was Desert Storm. And, you know, there was a lot of no blood for oil protesting going on. And uh, it just seemed like it was time for me to have a reaction to it, which was that song. And the weird thing about it is that it seems to readapt to to everything along the way. So whether there's a, a, a spill in the Gulf, which greatly affected us in New Orleans where I live, it seemed to sort of be commenting on that and it seemed to sort of be commenting on fracking. And it seemed to sort of be always commenting on why we're always in the Middle East fighting. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's weird and sort of almost disappointing that it still is so effective, <laughs> but, you know, look how far we haven't come. Soul Asylum is currently out with Fountains of Wayne through October 19th at First Avenue in Minneapolis, Minnesota. For more information on the band, go to soulasylum.com.